Welcome back to SOS. I am Staff Sergeant BA. Sippy Cup. Today we are going to do jalapeno peppers. But these are not just any jalapeno pepper. This is something that an experiment with my parents they did a while back and they gave them to me as a gift uh, just like this. And we started eating them and you can eat them straight out of the jar and go on and on and on. We started trying them on, these are bread and butter. Bread and butter pickled jalapenos, okay? Bread and butter. Okay, you see that? Bread and butter. All right, not pickle, okay? It's gotta be bread and butter, it won't taste good. All right, but these taste amazing on barbecue sandwiches and pretty much anything you wanna throw a pepper on, it doesn't matter. Uh, when I was in the military, I brought some to work, uh, a couple of jars of these, and tossed them out, and they were gone by the end of the day. I didn't get to have a bite of them myself. So, uh, but my parents made these for me, and we want to make them for you guys, so you guys have another recipe you can add to your index of stuff to can. Prepper peppers. Prepper peppers. Oh, yeah. And these are the knives from... Uh, this is from Coyote Instinct. All right, we're going to be using these today. Thanks, thanks, Coyote. <laughs> TJ, we're going to be uh, we're going to cut up our peppers today with these just for mm -hmm. you. And uh, we really appreciate the knives and thank you again. You're awesome. You ready to do this? Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Hang on a second. Okay, so we rinsed off all of our peppers and sterilized cutting utensils hands and uh, he made these handles I don't know if we mentioned that but yeah awesome job so uh, we're just gonna go ahead and cut them into bite-sized pieces and if I was going on uh, Food Network's Chopped I would bring this knife with me I don't know why they don't show more knives like this on Food Network I think that'd be pretty cool yeah, that's pretty much all you're doing. Uh, keep the seeds in, keeps that extra fiery taste. And voila! Voila, that's it. All right, she's still going. Okay, so for the hot liquid in the peppers, you're just gonna go by what they recommend on the back of this. So it says. Uh, between 9 and 11 pounds of peppers, um, you're going to need 6 3 4 cups of distilled white vinegar, and of course tons of sugar, so it's about 7 cups of sugar. And just like with any protose, the firmer you can get it, the better, because that way it won't get soggy and it won't disintegrate. So I already got my, um, my vinegar and my sugar. And I'm just going to go ahead and add my bread and butter. And we got to get that to a rolling boil. So we got to get it nice and hot. And then uh, while that's boiling, we got sterilization going on a lot here. So we're just going to go ahead and get that all set up and. Yep. We'll come back to it. Okay. It's already starting to smell like bread and butter. It's ridiculous. Yeah, keep a window open. <laughs> I know, right? Keep a window open. The peppers and Ooh. the bread and butter, it's just overwhelming, okay? Hang on. Okay, it's time to pack those peppers. Just dump them in there. Remember, now, these things shrink really small. So yeah, so. Half an inch head space is yeah. good. And you can you can cram them in there. I mean, you don't have yeah. to like. They shrink a lot. I mean, and you know, if you want to use the pints or the quarts, the pints kind of a little bit easier to. All right. We'll have to top those off okay. again. We'll smash those down. Yeah. So they're not going to look like that. I just have to put as much as I can in there. Yeah, this is a fast process. I mean, you gotta keep everything hot. Yep, so it's <laughs> literally jalapenos. Can't keep hot. The more you can go, the better. Don't 
Whatever you do, Trey, not to touch the rims. Yeah, don't touch the rims. I'm trying to reach over a camera here. And this is going to be the right amount? Yeah. Alright, hang on. Get under that one. Dump the rest of those in that one. Now, some people like to use a spatula to kind of get in there and push down. I don't know, me, whatever butter knife, wants, whatever you got. There you go, get to stuff um, that one in there. Alright, there you go. That's it for the jars, well, right? Well, you can you fill them more, up right? a little bit more. Okay. Oh, yeah, I do have two more, don't I? You got two more. Alright, so let's just save enough of these two. So, we only did about three to four pounds right here. And, uh,. It fills up about six. Can you pack that one down more? Dude. All right, you. All right, give us a second. Yeah. Let's finish this up. Okay, we got a ladle of juice in. Oh, sorry, steam up my eyeball. It's like, this we got to wear like gas mask in this here. This is tear gas, man. This is the natural way for tear gas. You want to jack somebody up real quick? Get them in the eyeball with some of this stuff. I mean, that will severely clean your Should we put a warning in the video about wearing safety I think glasses? So. I think you need a gas mask. <laughs> Please refer to my husband's video about gas masks. There you because... go. Yeah, this is some strong stuff. Like I said, leave a window open. Gosh. But you know what? It's delicious, and it's worth every bit of it. We put the ventilator on our... Um, microwave but we probably couldn't hear us as well so we're not we're not stupid we're not stupid we just like to really give you guys good quality show here and good quality show despite the health risks we'll do it <laughs> so much we love you guys oh man but yeah just ladle till I mean it just like I said between inch and one one half an inch, one inch head space. It right. doesn't matter because these things will shrink up. Plenty of juice to go around. All right, we'll finish this up and hang on, okay? Oh, please. Go. All right. Take your <laughs> paper towel and just wipe the rims off. Don't grab it and bunch it up in your hands like my husband just tried to do. Why are you calling me out? Because people need to learn from your mistakes, Napoleon. <laughs> All right. Now, pressure pot. Usually you grab this, but you're slacking right now. I'm a slacker. Here, hang on. You didn't have to pause. Alright, there we go. You can keep recording. I can keep recording. Alright, you just dump your really hot water. Sippy, you're kind of spunky today. Well, it's peppers. It's peppers. It's the peppers? It's the peppers, man. It's <laughs> Too much pepper juice in my system. Oh man. Alright. Okay, Lids. go ahead and pause. Lids? Alright, hang on. Alright, uh, before I skip this part, uh, lids are on. Don't forget to boil your lids for, what is it, like a minute? One minute. One minute. And then uh, you get all your stuff situated. I like to spread them out. Get them in there good. Don't burn your little hands off. There we go. And we drop our lid on. I know we cover this in every video, but we kind of have to because we never know if the new person is going to be watching and they're going to want to know how to do this. What was that? I don't know. Hang on. Something popped. Okay, so our little top has popped. So what we're going to do is 10 pounds of pressure, so that's just one little ring. And we're going to set it on top and when that starts to rock in is when we start our time and uh, it is 35 minutes for pints so yes 35 minutes it will be back mmm smell the peppery smell bread and tear gas bread and buttery goodness Alright, let's, you want to set this over, oh man, the counter's sticky again, there we go, here, let me turn it over here, here we go, alright, 
Drop them down. Yeah. And much, they, that's how much space, space you get. They raise, they raise up. Drew, don't pick on your brother. Anyways, we're taking them out, and that's how they look. They're nice and hot. And they'll all sink down to the bottom. Yeah, they'll sink down. They'll mix up. They're pretty bubbly and hot right now, so. But yeah, uh, about, uh, about I don't know, about 10, 15 hours or so, they'll start sinking or kind of moving around a little bit more. Once you put them in your storage, they'll, they'll sink down all the way. Mm -hmm. Anyways, they're pretty good and delicious. All right, hang on. All right, there you have it. You can put a little bow on them and mail them out to all your friends and family and loved ones and stuff and give one to your cat, your dog. Um, no. Your friend down the street. Yeah. All right. Your grandma. Your grandma. Okay. Your great grandma. I don't know. I don't know who you got. All right. Anyway. Yep. Uh, you're watching SOS. I'm Stas Arm Badass. Thank you for watching. Take it easy. Mm-hmm.